What's up guys, it's your boy Rich and I'm coming at you raw, meaning very little to no editing here because I wanted to use this downtime to share the one watch that's been taking up my time, <laughs> pun intended, and the one watch that has just been punching me in the face, <clears throat> reminding me of just how good it is. And I'm talking about the Norcane Freedom 60 Chronograph. This is the one watch that I have been spending a lot of time with. It's a watch that I should have always appreciated, and I have, but for some reason I've been appreciating it a lot more these days. And that's because I can tell you that the quality of this watch is just absolutely first rate. This is a high-end watch. Everything from its finishing to this, uh, to this dial, all the markers and the branding is uh, applied as you would expect from any high-end watch. I really like the 60s vintage vibe that's going on here. Just everything about this watch just exudes quality. And I'm not going to make any comparisons, but I am going to draw some parallels to another really expensive high-end watch, and that's my Gerard Perigo Vintage 1945, because I think most of us, if not all of us, uh, can agree on the quality of GP watches. And that's the only parallel that I'm uh, tr drawing between a Norcane uh, and a GP. It's just the quality is there on this and uh, the retail price is about $3,800. And I know that's kind of playing in dangerous territory for a newer brand at that price point. But if we understood the team behind Norcan, I think that would help us understand and feel a lot more comfortable because there is a Breitling connection. Uh, one of the board members uh, that sits on Norcane is Ben Kufer, and he was someone that has spent a lot of years, many, many years with Breitling. So the whole team knows what they're doing. And I did get a chance on more than one occasion to spend time with some of the Norcane team members. And I can tell you that I can feel really comfortable with all of the products uh, they produce because I know they're going to be just high end. And they also uh, make these other really cool divers watches that are below $2,000. I think around $1,800 that are really... Uh, just as great in quality, but you know, this is the one watch that uh, among the Norcane lineup that really stood out to me. So the finishing, as I said, is just first rate. Uh, and you know, I, I want to talk about the quality uh, a little longer, and which is the biggest reason I've been really enjoying this watch uh, lately. Uh, if we didn't know anything about the history or whether or not this was a newer watch or the price, and we were handling this watch for the first time, sort of like a clean blank slate. It's just a watch that we would easily identify as a high-end watch and an expensive watch. We would immediately be able to tell ourselves this is not an in inexpensive or cheap watch. And, and it's not. Um, but it's, it's that kind of watch that is special enough that we don't need to be told whether or not it's good, whether or not it's expensive. Just we'll, we can easily tell that for ourselves. And I, I think it's coming across here uh, on camera. It uses a 7753 automatic movement, which is a great movement. It's an expensive movement, which also explains uh, the price of, of this watch. Um, but probably my least favorite part of any 7753 movement uh, is when it comes to the date. Because, you know, unlike most watches where we can change the date uh, using the crown, we can't here. We have to change the date on this hole right here. And here it's right beside the Norcane plating. And how I do that is I just use the same toothpick over and over. But before I use it for the first time, I always just dull uh, the tip here. And then I use that to insert to change the date. Not my favorite feature, but because of the 7753, the way that it allows for the layout on the dial with those registers or subdials, it's easy enough to forgive. It just allows a really great layout on that dial. So again, everything about this watch is really first rate. And, you know, I just touched on this plating right here where it says Norcane. All of the watches come with this plating. Um, it's I left it blank or meaning with just the Norcane branding, but we can have it with any way we want. And maybe one day I'll have my firstborn's name on there and um, I can leave it behind him or her as a really nice, uh, as a really nice gift. Um, as I said, this is not a review or even an overview, overview, but it is in 43 millimeters, and I think it's only 15 millimeters tall, so definitely a, a great size watch for me. One of the other features is this leather strap, which we don't usually talk about when it comes to the strap, but this is, again, a really uh, first-rate strap. Most of the Norcane watches I know have a, a continuous mountain pattern, pattern on the dial for their adventurous spirit, and we get some of that here, on, on the tips of the uh, leather strap right, right there, which is meant to indicate the mountainous pattern. So this has just been the one watch that <laughs> uh, has been stealing my heart, if I can say that. And for, I think, really obvious reasons, just a, a really substantial watch that 
um, I really learned to appreciate, especially right now. So let me know what watch uh, has been stealing your heart or taking up your time during this moment. So this has been my Norcane moment. Thanks guys, and I'll see you the next time. Maybe it'll be the name of my firstborn son um, and I, or, or daughter and just leave it behind wisdom. I think that would be a nice memorable, memorable piece to do. But right now, okay, there goes the coffee maker. Thank you.